Alrighty guys, now before we actually get into the video, I just want to let you guys know that when I recorded this, I was very, very tired, so that's why it's a very lax video, and I'm sorry. I should have just took a nap and then recorded later. I honestly don't know why I recorded when I did, but anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. So just basically lower your standards a little bit for this video, please. Uh, there's not that much editing in it. I really hope that you guys understand. Just, you know, sit back, relax, and uh, enjoy my really ridiculously tired self. Yo, what is up, you guys? It's Grim here. Welcome back to another Minecraft video. Alright, so today, I guess that we, uh... We get to name the horse. Oh man, now of course to do this, we have to get, um, I was not looking forward to this. We need to get three iron blocks. So we can go and craft those up really quickly. All right, now we can go ahead and make an anvil. So yeah, okay. So in case you guys are unfamiliar or just went ahead and hopped in, we did go ahead and vote and I went ahead and chose and I, I mean, I did some, you know, el elimination and I went ahead and chose my favorite nickname. So. We're going to go ahead and do that right now. Now, before I actually do this, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone that actually went ahead and participated down below. But with all the nicknames, I went ahead and like decided that uh, di different nicknames would definitely see different horses. Now, someone said down below that this guy, I mean, let's be honest, he's not the best horse. Kind of sucks his jumping. I mean, he's kind of fast, but he's not the best. So I'm going to go ahead and give him a fun nickname. And then what I'm going to do is probably breed or try and find a different horse to go ahead and give a different nickname to that will maybe be our main horse later on. So with that being said, we can go ahead and throw this in here. Get rid of this. Now, in case you guys are unfamiliar with this, Panera is indeed bred in Spanish. I did take one year of Spanish in high school. Thank you very much. So there we go. We have Panera there. And what I wanted to do was people were commenting down below, do Reaper as because you know grim and then reaper but uh what i'm gonna do is get a different horse that's a lot better or maybe a skeleton horse or something and name him reaper instead because this guy is just a i mean he's a fun little guy i'm never gonna get rid of him he's definitely made away in my heart with this bread addiction <laughs> so yeah now that that's out of the way we can go ahead and actually get into this episode oh man so today i want to actually just start off at well at, uh, Okay, so now that we've named him, I want to go ahead and start off with mining this area out and getting started on a storage system here. This isn't going to be automatic. This isn't going to be anything fancy. It's literally just going to be a couple of chests, like, put into a wall, and that's that's really it. All right, so while we're actually getting the storage system in, I figured that this would be probably a good time because I need to go get a lot of wood and go ahead and actually fill this area out with the cobblestone floor and get the wood walls in. And obviously, I need to do a ceiling too. I forgot about that. But yeah, we're going to do this in a bit of a time lapse, I'm thinking. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get into the chat right away, why don't we? All right, so I don't really know what to talk about in this time lapse chat. Um, I'm definitely a little bit more energetic than I was when I was actually recording this once again. I mean, I really don't know why I recorded this. I guess I just want to get it done with. But, man, now looking back, I, I it's really rough editing this video, just watching this, because I am literally bored editing this, and I just want to get it out. So I never have to see it again, And if I'm being honest. So I, I'm going to say expect a tutorial next. I, I think that I am working on a tree farm here. Uh, it's going to be like an automatic tree farm that produces bone meal at the same time. It's going to be a, a cool design. I, I think that's what I'm going to work on next. I'm not sure yet. I've also just been thinking about making uh just tinier bone meal farms in general because now that i'm starting out i kind of want one and that would definitely be useful a couple other things uh to those of you guys requesting like raid farms and uh creeper farms and uh, witch hut farms or whatever stuff like that that uh when i work on that inside of my actual like survival play let's play then that's when i'm going to make it uh more or less unless it's something that i just really think is a neat design i'm going to release it like in, in between episodes otherwise as the episodes come out and as I progress and I'll like, you know, farms and stuff kind of show up, that's when I'm going to, you know, continue to just go ahead and put out, uh, like tutorial videos for those big farms, like the witch farms and enderman farms and raid farms and stuff like that. All right. Now on the discord Q and a chat, I am going to go ahead and pick one question out of here to go ahead and answer today. Why did you choose an Ingram? Well, funny story. When I got my x 260, when I was like 12 or 13, I believe, um, I got a, a name. It was called Steep Movie 913. Now, that wasn't going to cut it, okay? I had to change that name immediately because you get made fun of the first stuff on that in the MW2 chat lobby. You, did, you didn't want to be that kid with the bad username. So, anyway, uh, I, I was literally sitting on the Xbox dashboard, and I saw this thing for a Grim Reaper, but I also saw Despicable Me. So, I, I put those two together, and I came up with Despicable Grim, which was originally my gamer card for uh, Xbox and then I just went ahead and shorted it down to Grim because I figured that Grim was just a cooler name. But yeah, there's that. Uh, thank you to that one kid in the Discord chat for uh, going ahead and asking that. Now let's go ahead and get back into the 
wonderfully, wonderfully boring video today. All right, you guys. So I hope that you enjoyed the little chat. I hope I talked about something interesting. Of course, uh, that is future me who would be talking. But the little chest system is done. We have 40 chests right here. So let's just go ahead and start organizing, I guess. All right, so with that completely boring nonsense off-camera stuff, uh, we now have all of the chests are completely uh, organized besides, you know, this stuff right here. But over here, we have the wood chest. We have the general, like, blocks chest, like dirt, granite, stone, anything like that. Uh, we have the mining resources chest right here. This is just a very basic storage system. We have, like, food right here, as you can see. I'm too lazy to cook it. We also have the uh, friendly mob drop chest right there. We have the farming chest right here. We have the uh, spare tool chest here. We have the book chest here. We have redstone here. We have hostile mob drops here. We have uh, armor here. It's only horse armor, but if we find any spare armor, we'll throw it in that chest. We have the dye chest. We have the nether chest. And we have, of course, and we have the glass chest because I didn't know where to put that. I might throw that in the dye chest. With well, that being said, I actually found out, unfortunately, uh, my chicken farm right here. What? Oh, man, I need stone. All right, so my chicken farm right here did not have a half slab in, so that was made completely wrong. And also the lava bucket's missing, so I am I need to go get that. All right, so I do have these cows and chickens in here. I guess I'll just kill them all off because they got out, and I'm not about to just go through the struggle of getting them back in again. Now we have to breed these cows. We're still trying to get a couple babies, so we're just bringing them all up in here for now. And, yeah, we get XP, and then... Yeah, so we're, we'll get some babies, and now we have to go actually get some lava again. Oh my lord, I really need to do something about this door. <laughs> Alright, so we're back over here again by the lava pools, and we're just going to go ahead and pick up some lava, and I guess run straight back to the house. <laughs> I mean, we don't really have a choice here, because we got to get this lava in so the chickens start dying. You know, that sounded like really morbid, but man, I need food. This bread is only going to last so long. Okay, it's about time that we broke this little pathway here so that I can finally go through it. All right, so we're back. Let's go ahead and replace the hole that I put in the wall. And then we can run over here. Mm. Um, okay, so I'm going to smelt up a piece of glass. That's, that's how we're going to do this. We're going to smelt a piece of glass up. All right, so I got a piece of glass down here, and we're going we're gonna to try and do this quick. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, man. <laughs> okay, so we're going to try this again. Okay. 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 We got it that time. We got it that time, boys. I think this episode, I want to try and get a couple things in this hallway. So I definitely, I definitely want an enchantment room. And then I also definitely want to get a real super smelter. Okay, which side is... Okay, so that side is going to be the super smelter. And then this side is going to be the enchantment room. All right, so I don't know if I'm actually going to be getting to the super smelter this episode. But I will definitely be... We will be making an enchantment room. So we will be grinding out cows and we will be grinding out a uh, sugar cane. All right, and as I'm doing this here, uh, it's just like, you know, a little, a little time for me to uh, put in my, my Discord plug. All right, now before we get into the video today, I just wanted to quickly say, if you haven't joined the Discord server, go ahead and check it out on the link below. A lot of people have definitely joined the server so far. We have multiple different chats, one showing you all my videos, one that you can make complete nonsense in. We have a creations chat where uh, you can just share whatever you want, whether that's baking, uh, designs, whatever, memes. Obviously, come on, that's amazing right there. You got roast chat. I mean, look at this guy. He's trying to make my designs look better. What? We also have multiple help categories as far as farms, redstone, villagers, all that jazz goes. So go ahead and check it out in the link below if you're interested. All right, guys, I'm kind of dumb, so I'm asking right now, how many bookshelves do you need for a level 30 trade? Oh, no, I did not mean to move that. 16 or 17. Okay, cool. Let's look that up on Google. 15 bookshelves. Okay, so neither. All right, so anyway, welcome back uh, from that Discord plug. So this is going to be like the general room right here that I went ahead and mined out. So what I'm thinking is we can keep like the general design of like putting a piece of wood in between two pillars so that we can just have that extra wall in case we have to like branch out a redstone or something for like some kind of design so we're going to continue that even though this enchantment room doesn't really need it but i was i was looking up how many bookshelves so i know how many uh spots to actually go ahead and clear out so i'm thinking like six and then like three and then three so that'll make 12 and then 13 14 okay so we're, we're gonna do 16 we're gonna do 16 so we're going to do 16, then I need... Okay, so we're going to go ahead and make the enchantment table, and then we're going to set it down and just see how... 
then we're just going to set it down and we're going to see how it actually looks. Just chilling there. So we got this. And set this bad boy right here. Okay, yeah, and then we can go ahead and mine out the walls like this a little bit. And then I think that we might want to have like a little bit of a lower ceiling in here, maybe. I'm not sure how that would look. All right, but what I do know we need is we need to go get some wood. And we can go ahead and do that right now. All right, so with the way that the tunnel's going, I think that's a really cool concept. And I just want to like flood the entire thing with farms. So we're definitely going to start off with like the important stuff. Like the chicken and cow farm is probably the most important farm in my opinion, as well as the storage system being the, the second most important thing, or just straight up the most important thing, like just in general, whereas farms, it's, you know, the cow and chicken farm. And then obviously we want the enchantment room close, and then it kind of like dwindles from there. Like, you know, the super smelter is probably going to be across the hall from the enchantment room. And then from that point, I don't really know what we're going to do. I need this leather though. You know, I'll be completely honest with you. I lost my train of thought. I don't even, I know that we're talking about the, the tunnel, but like, <laughs> I don't know what exactly about the tunnel we're talking about. All right. So we got like half a stack of wood. It is getting dark out. So I think that's good for now. We're just like obliterating this forest. Okay. So we do need leather. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Come here. Wait, wait, I can go trade with librarians. Is that a thing? We're going to go check out the villages in a second. All right. So I, I, this isn't final. But I kind of like this look in general, like the, the kind of caving in on this. So I think that we're going to leave this for now, but we we are going to sleep and then we're going to go look at some villages and see if we can find trades or something. I'm not sure how that works. Okay, let's break the wall and we can head on out. Now, I think I'm just going to head to one like, you know, the, the villages from earlier that were like over here just because they're, they're so much closer and we don't have to go far in. Hopefully, we can just, like, run there and back, and, like, if we have to run back and get some stuff, it won't be that far away. All right, so we got, uh, villagers. I kind of, okay, I actually, I want to stuff these guys in holes. Okay, I'm guessing you aren't going to trade me anything I need, do you? No. We need a librarian, and I don't even know if there's librarians here. Look at this little guy, what? <laughs> well, that actually works. Wait, does it? I don't know. A subscriber commented saying that they'll all go in their houses when you pet the bell. Is that true? I mean, it looks like they're all trying to. Is that... Whoa. All right. So, we're going to lock all these houses up then. <laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> no, come back. Wait, what? How'd you get up here? <laughs> what the Beetroots for an emerald, huh? All right. It's just occurred to me that all that we really need is leather and... There's probably villagers here. There's probably a leather worker, isn't there? Isn't that isn't that a thing? A leather worker? Are you a leather worker? God, I suck at survival Minecraft. All right, so I figured we could come over to this village and see if there's anything over here. Are these guys all unemployed? All right, well, I'm just gonna say forget all this, and I'm just gonna go ahead and kill a lot of cows and just get a lot of leather, and that will probably make it. It'll just make it faster than going through the process of getting, like, a bunch of villagers and getting, like, lecterns and all that and spending books on that instead of that. Someone said, I need Silk Touch Axe, and I should do it at nighttime is what someone said. So we're going to do that when I get Silk Touch. Well, it doesn't need to be an axe, but just Silk Touch something. And we can go ahead and get that beehive there. That can be the honey farm. I've never actually made a honey farm before. That That could be an interesting build for sure. All right, but I guess I guess we should actually probably be getting a lot of the sugar cane that I am just passing up. This is probably going to be needed quite a lot. So let's go ahead and get a lot of that and see if we can find just a bunch of cows, I guess, because that's probably something that we're going to need. Just a lot of cows for a lot of leather. Oh, come here, boy. Oh, you're next, bro. Pigs, uh, you guys can live. You're cool. All right. So there's just so much forest here. Oh, my goodness. And there's a nice waterfall on this side. I didn't even see this side. Huh. This side's kind of neat, too. Um, <laughs> I thought that was some, like, giant cave. Okay. Get all these saplings back up. And, okay. Don't like that. We don't like this. Okay, so you can die. What's in here? Nothing. Some iron. I don't have... Tor no, I do have torches. Okay, cool. I'll put this down, and we can just... Actually, we're just going to go and grab this real quick. Oh, uh, where you at, bud? Come here. All right, so... Oh, uh, man. All right, so let's go... 
Oh my gosh, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> that doesn't really matter that much, but okay, well, that's cool. So we do have a little bit of leather. Let's go ahead and breed up these cows some more. So we got sugar cane. We can make this all into, get that XP. We can make this all into, nope, that's not what we wanted, paper. So a bunch of paper, and then we can make 14 books. That's barely anything. All right, now we can make all the bookshelves. Four. We got four bookshelves. Let's go. Okay, so we can throw these down right there. And what level are we at then? Nine. Awesome. Oh, man, he's going places. He's going places. Get back in here. Get back in here, bud. Oh, my God. Look at all those chickens, bro. Oh, my gosh. That's so many. All right, so I'm actually going to go ahead and throw these into the furnace. I don't want to throw the cooked food in there. What? Okay, so I'm going to throw these in the furnace. I know I can do a blast furnace, I know I can do a cooker, but I know I can do a smoker, but like, honestly, I really don't care that much. I mean, it's fine. We got tons of coal. Wait a second. I know I have a book in here, don't I? <gasps> yes. Okay, so we can make another bookshelf. So we're almost there. We're getting there. 10. Heck yeah. All right. So I'm going to go find a bunch of cows and we're just going to have a, a, a cow punching montage i guess all right so we have literally every single mob out here besides cows so i guess we'll just start killing everything let's start sheep so we got bones and there's two cows what okay so we're gonna oh there's another guy over there there's another guy over there bro these cows ain't even gonna know what to hit them look at this look at this right there i think that's one more bookshelf yeah three leather one more bookshelf let's go we're just gonna kill all these chickens here, chicken, chicken, chicken. Here, chicken, chicken, chicken. Oh, there's pigs. I can't kill pigs, but they're taking out the mob. They're taking out the mob capacity, man. Okay, I guess it was short and sweet. Oh, I see a cow. I see a cow. Oh, man, that guy gave me no leather. Now, what the heck? What is the point in that? There's a cow. Look at this double kill. Double kill. Oh, bah. Two kills in a rapid succession. Pigs over here. We got another beehive. We got sheep. Oh, man. Is that two? Good enough. You know, two is great. Okay, so we're almost at two more bookshelves. Uh, we need 11 more. Oh, man. Okay, so this is actually taking a long time. And it's taking up all my food, so I'm going to go get Panera, and we're going to just ride him around and kill cows on him so that I don't just suck up all of my bread trying to do this. All right, so we're going to go ahead and breed the cows again really quickly. See if we can get more baby cows up in here. Okay. And then let's go and make another bookshelf. Can we get another piece of leather? Is there any more leather anywhere? No. Okay, so we have five more books. That means that we can make three, one more shelf. God, what am I talking about? Look at that. 20, 30 steak. Is there more in there? Yeah, okay, well, there's more in there. But we're just going to take this guy anyway. And we're going to go riding out and try and find some cows. Hopefully, because, man, it has been sucking up my, my food. And I just, ugh. You know, this is probably the most annoying part. Because, like, early game, you don't have much leather. And it's just so hard to get leather. All right, change of plans. I guess so we're just going to turn right around and we're going to go to bed. All right, you guys. So here we go. We're going on the cow hunt part two. Oh, my God. Okay. He somehow made it over that. I don't know. This horse, he surprises me sometimes. Not going to lie. Oh, my God. Okay, so what we're going to do is actually just, we're just going to go ahead and uh, mine up, mine up some trees and make a little pathway. So that we can actually drive through here on a horse. Alright, now the rest of the leaves should hopefully go ahead and clear up by themselves. But that should be a little bit of an easier pathway for me to get back and forth over here. Oh man, I don't want to kill horses. No, I feel bad killing... I don't know why. I just, I feel bad killing horses. So we're not going to kill horses. We're only killing cows. I want to get this enchantment room done so that I can just go ahead and get into making my... Uh, diamond pickaxe and diamond axe and diamond sword. And get those up to like god tier right away. And then I can just go ahead and start just going crazy making a bunch of farms. Because I feel bad like using a, a, a pickaxe when it's not enchanted if it's diamond. I don't know. So I want to get them enchanted as quickly as possible. You know, I'm starting to lose hope. Like, I am literally starting to lose hope. Because there's no cows, like, anywhere. Alright, so change of plans, actually. Uh, I think that I'm going to stop 
looking for all the, the like the cows and stuff I'm just gonna go ahead and work with the ones I have here because they're I've been looking for for a while now and oh more chickens uh, I've been looking for a while now and I just I cannot for the life of me find any cows that being said I'm just going to extend this tunnel and go and like finish up the room so that we can just know like you know we have to like add in the the shelves like where the shelves go all right so while the cows are just like dying in that chamber over there uh i'm going to uh, should we throw wood on top or should we lower this i don't think i don't know if we should actually lower this or not okay i do think that it would look cool well that's pretty much what it's okay yeah we're just going to keep like the basic design from out there all right i actually came up with an idea so we're gonna outline it all the way around so we're gonna they, they got all these blocks right here. Okay, so since they're took out, then we can go ahead and place this down along like this. And then we're going to have it kind of like where we can put stuff on top, like like armor stands or just like cool enchanted stuff. We can just throw it on the top of like these shelves. And I think that would look really cool. I actually don't need to put wood right there. And I'd like to save my wood if we can so we can place that. All right, now we can hop back here and like, I think that I'm just going to place two all around or we're going to go until we get enough bookshelves to go all the way around. I don't know until we get to level 30, but for now I'm just going to like plan it in advance. So I'm just going to have it to where it's set up to where woods on the top like this. And then we won't like see anything back here. So I'm not even going to worry about decorating that, but this is what the room is looking like. And then obviously we're going to put birch on the top. All right. So grab the birch half slabs from here and then what the heck all right so actually grab the birch house last this time and we can toss them on here and i think that's a pretty cool looking little enchantment room right there now the only problem is i need to think of a farm that's the exact same size like as far as the doorway to go over here so i i think i'm going to throw the little micro wheat carrot and potato farm over here that'll look cool yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so as usual, we can go ahead and start off by just framing the build out a little bit, mining out the walls. And I think that this is going to definitely tie the place in if we just get a long hallway full of, like, a bunch of little contraptions that we can just use, like, high-priority stuff up here. And then, you know, lesser, lesser as we go down. Come on, man. All I need is leather, so if you guys could please just give me that, that'd be great. All right, so it is dark-ish. I want to... I wanna, I want to sleep before I go get wood. So I'm going to cut this out and we'll be right back when it's daytime out. All right. So it's now daytime and let's just go ahead and start getting some wood. I, I'm i trying to go out farther away from my house, but at the same time, I'm finding that I'm not. And I'm just like tearing down the forest. So that's just that that's just a habit that honestly, like it's hard for me to break. I always just get like the closest trees to my house. I don't know why. Like, it's so hard for me to not do that. Look, I'm lazy. I just want my trees. I've been looking for cows for, like, two hours, and I've only got six bookshelves. <laughs> okay, maybe not two hours. More like 40 minutes, but uh, the uh, same thing applies, man. It's just, I just don't get why, like, cows don't spawn when you need them, and then when you don't need them, they're, like, all over the place. Same thing goes for, like, chickens. Like, look, now that I have my chicken farm, these things are, like, everywhere. I, I killed so many earlier. All right, but we do have 52 wood now, so I think that's going to be enough for just our adventures in the little wheat farm, I think. All right, now I just want to clarify something. Uh, I will be putting a super smelter in. However, we're going to be building an iron farm fairly soon. And now what? How did you? Uh, oh, yes. There we go. We got another bookshelf, boys. Go ahead and craft this boy up right here. Then we can put the wood in. Then we can put the wood in. We can get the the books. Get the bookshelf. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That looks nice right there. What level are we up to? Fourteen. Cool. All right. So anyway, I need to get some dispensers. Yeah, dispensers, pressure plate, observers. All right. So how do you make? A okay. So we need observers. Two. We need pistons. What am I missing? Iron. Right. Okay, iron, and then we need two slime blocks, uh, two slime balls, two iron. Head back to the crafting table. All right, two pistons, two pistons, <laughs> and then two sticky pistons. Perfect. All right, now we need three dispensers, which is the annoying part because these 
stupid bows. I hate how you need to craft an individual bow for each every single one. So, all right, now we can get three dispensers. Dispenser three, perfect. All right, so I'm I think okay. So this is the setup right here, and I'm gonna be stepping in right here, and then this is where the pressure plate is gonna be. It's gonna be on top of this guy. So uh, what we need is I don't need I don't need this wood. Uh, we can place this one upside down right here okay grab some cobblestone fill this in all right so we got that guy facing that way then we can place this guy here get some other dispensers dispenser dispenser uh fill that up yeah okay all right now we need in back here oh man i'm actually gonna need to break that block whoops okay now we can go ahead and place some redstone on top of the where where is my texture pack oh my gosh okay that's so much better all right so now we can go ahead and just fill this area in around here and then put the piston here the other piston we need a dirt block all right so we got a block of dirt there we need a water bucket oh man all right so go ahead and grab a water bucket uh we need a trap door i know i have one right here and then we need a pressure plate all right so we got the pressure plate we can place that there we got the trap door then we got the water this should be done yeah okay now we can just step on in and then it should be making us some wheat. We can go ahead and put that there. And then obviously you need to film Bomia, but that's for a later date. Now I built this primarily so that we can actually start getting like seeds and stuff. I think is something of importance because we will need a lot of food for when we actually breed villagers. Now I know that I can use like bread and stuff like that, but man, that's expensive. Even with all the hay bales I'm finding, bread is still three wheat per like eat for like every single, uh, every single piece of bread it's three wheat and that's that's a lot of that's a lot of wheat all right so i'm just changing out the floor here real quick so that we can just switch this all over the cobblestone because i am like that i i'm very ocd ish i guess i don't know and that that is a lot better i think that okay this place needs some lighting down here for sure okay so we can throw some torches there 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 and there i think that this place is coming together quite nicely honestly uh Tell me down below what you think. I really, I hope that I'm building this nicely. I mean, I think it looks good. All right, so I guess that we will go looking for stuff one more time, J like cows, uh, leather. Uh, I really don't want to, but we will because we are almost there with the bookshelves. We have seven, so we don't even need. We need nine more, maybe, maybe just eight. I mean, yeah, maybe just eight. Honestly. All right, I do need to get this water back up for the farm. What? I don't know why there's so many like zombie villagers on this world. It's kind of concerning. There's so many villages and zombie villagers. I don't understand it. All right. So we are nearing back over to our little cow valley area. I guess this is where like a lot of the cows are. Cause I don't, they just, they don't spawn around my house that much. So I typically come out here and there's a decent amount usually. I mean, sometimes no. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to call it the search again. Man, this thing is its so pointless. Okay, so anyway, we did get a little weed farm going here, and we got part of an enchantment room done, but unfortunately, that's going to have to be it for this episode. I know we didn't get much done, but I decided to start recording it. Let's check. I decided to start recording a little later than usual. I, it was like 3 o'clock when I started, and it's 4.30 now. I still have to edit this video. I still have to export it and then upload it on YouTube, make a thumbnail, and get it all out before 10 a.m. tomorrow. So, with all that being said... I've been Grim. If you liked the video, please leave a like. If you loved it, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.